Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the Apex Trader Funding Series. And in this series, we're just documenting the, the journey towards the first payout using Apex Trader Funding. So if you trade the futures, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain. But over time, it became more consistent. And I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into it. What we're going to do is showcase where the accounts are at and um, go into some strategy. So I, I've been having a harder time trading uh, 10, 20 accounts on Apex uh, mentally just because you know I would see my setup come and I wouldn't, I'd be, I hesitate to take my setup and then it would kind of run without me and it's kind of too late. Uh, and then times where I, I wouldn't hesitate, it may turn into a loss. But anytime I trade my own account, I trade it much better. I just trade one account. But I noticed it's been a lot more challenging to trade the funded accounts. I've been having, a, I've been struggling more with the consistency for two reasons. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. The first reason is because I'm trading a, a lot of accounts and it, I, I guess it feels like there's a lot more pressure because of the potential profit. So I'll give you an example. If you're trading 10 accounts, take a win. Let's say you're trading two contracts with, with NASDAQ and your, your win is 20 points. Well, that's $800, but on 10 accounts, that's $8,000 in one trade and if the, there's mental pressure on you because if you don't pass these accounts then you don't get that huge extra surge in potential income and potential earning right if you don't pass and then if you have if you have passed once you get a pa account and you have these accounts well you know if you take a few losses then you lose your potential to keep earning that let's say 80,000 or 100,000 a month because you know if you have 10 accounts and you're averaging you know, 10,000 a month on each account, which is totally doable, that's 100,000 in a month, right? So there's this added pressure that I found where I trade so much differently when I trade 10 accounts. You know, I, I trade differently when there's 10 accounts all in one trade copier, that's the first thing. And then if there's 10 accounts that are PA, I trade even more scared because if I, I've now gotten these, pay account, these PA accounts, if I take a few losses, I lose the whole potential earning of, of 100,000 a month based on my strategies. And then as soon as I go back to trading my own account, I'm good averaging the whatever, you know, 2,000 a week or 3,000 a week or 10,000, whatever it is, I'm fine. But as soon as I trade all of them together, I trade so much more different. So I just wanted to go over that. So now let's go over to the account balances. Here are the account balances. Last week, you'll see that we had, we had 150K accounts and they were close to being funded. But what happened was I didn't renew them. And I'll explain why. I didn't renew them because uh, I, Honestly, I had a break even a uh, couple of days and I needed 5,000 more in profits to turn them into a PA account. And they were renewing uh, Friday, March 1st. And I also, I bought them when it wasn't a big sale. So basically they were gonna renew for $100 each. So I'd be charged another $1,000 um, just to renew those accounts. And I didn't get them funded in one month. And there was a sale on, so I got these 50K accounts for $30 each instead. So basically what I did was instead of paying an extra $100 on each of the 10 accounts to renew them, I just didn't renew them, let them expire. Uh, you could call that, a, obviously I wasted the money by, by getting the accounts, but I didn't get them funded. So um, I would have had to pay the renewal fee, which is $1,000. So instead of that, I paid $300 to get 10 50K accounts and I'm able to get these ones, I'm able to pass them a lot sooner because instead of needing 9,000 to pass, you need 3,000 to pass. So because of that, I, I just got these accounts like it was like the Wednesday once they was about to expire. So I traded the last three days of the week uh, or last four days of the week it was Tuesday or Wednesday. And I passed half of them. So you can see PA and then the other half uh, I'm in the process of passing and you can see the account balances here. So they're currently, you know, about 1500 away. Yeah, 1500 away from being funded. So I trade about two contracts per trade. So, you know, about two wins, two net wins and these will all be funded. And then I'm gonna take a new approach where I'm gonna trade one contract um, on the PA accounts. So what this is gonna look like is on NQ, my stop loss is 15 points and my uh, size will be one contract on the PA accounts. Uh, my win rate is 75% and my trades are one to one R and I usually have about 10 trades a week. So if you go over to the risk of ruin calculator, um, we're assuming that, you know, uh, about halfway through this week, we'll have 10 PA accounts and once I get a couple wins. So you just put in 75% win rate. This is what we do in every episode. So if, if you're new here, 
I always go to the risk of ruin calculator and I just see what's the probability of me losing the accounts based on my current strategies. I've back tested my current strategies. I know that you know the win rate on my NQ trades is about 75%. I teach about 80%, but 70, 75%. Risk reward ratio is about one R. Uh, sometimes it's a little bigger, 1.2. Um, it's never less than one R, but it's sometimes a little bigger. So what I like to do is go on the side of caution, use the 75% win rate, use the one, uh, one R. Uh, number of trades is about 10 in a week. So in, in the next two weeks, we'll have about 20 trades. Um, risk per trade. So 15 points is $300 with one contract. And um, my max drawdown is 5%, which is 2,500. So a risk of $300 is uh, just over half percent. It's 0.6%. So you put 0.6% as the risk per trade when uh, max drawdown is uh, 5%, which is 2,500. So if I lose 2,500, I lose the accounts. Uh, in the next two weeks, uh, there's a 0% chance of me losing these accounts. And um, with these stats, 75% win rate on, on 20 trades is 15 wins, five losses. So. If you just assume an, an, an average, and my strategy is gonna perform average in the next two weeks, then you'll see that I'll have, a, in, in my average TP, let's say it's 15 points. So 15 wins times 15 points is 225 points of net profit, uh, not net profit, of gross profit, and then net profit would be the five losses. So um, five losses times 15 points is 75, minus the 225 is 150. So in the next two weeks, I'm likely to net, say 150 points on NASDAQ with one contract. Well, the 150 points with one contract is 3,000. So in the next two weeks, um, half the accounts, say uh, 1,500, will go towards uh, turning them into PA accounts, and then they'll have uh, 1,500 in profit. And these other half PAs will be about 3,000 in profit. So that's why, uh, and I said in the last video, I'll have my first withdrawal about March 15th. That's exactly where that goes to, that goes to March 15th. Because if you go over to the news for the next, two weeks. So we go over to Forex Factory and you'll see uh, this week is going to be March 4th. So March 4th to March 8th, the Friday at the bottom here is week one. And then the next week will be March 11th to March 15th, Friday. Uh, Friday is the first day that you can do a withdrawal with Apex. And that's when I'll also have enough trading days. So it all kind of aligns properly to where my, my PA account should be around a 53,000 balance. And what I'll do then is probably withdraw uh, but about 1500 not the full 2000 so you know with say with withdraw uh, 1500 from five accounts that's when we'll withdraw about 7500 uh, in this coming week and that withdrawal alone will pay for all of my uh, of all of my apex fees because you know in in the whole course of just this series i've probably spent about three thousand three or four thousand 4,000 in total, yeah. I spent about 4,000 in total now with uh, Apex. So, and that's just, you know, in total of evals combined with paying the PA fee, because to make a, an account real, you have to pay an extra $100 or an extra $150, depending if you go lifetime or if you go monthly. So this this withdrawal coming in two weeks will be about 7,500, you know. Over this whole challenge, we'd be net, let's say, two or $3,000 uh, just from Apex, and then the thought process from there is that we'll be more consistent and be consistently bringing about uh, fifteen thousand or twenty thousand. Actually, yeah, we'll be consistently bringing in about twenty thousand every two weeks from these ten accounts. That's the thought process um, on top of my own personal trading account, which I'll be withdrawing from as well. So I just wanted to break that down just to show what's possible, what's likely, and just to showcase that, hey, this is where we are in the journey. This is what's likely to come. So we're looking at about $7,500 withdrawal in the next two weeks. We're looking at um, the last half of the PA accounts, uh, the last half of these evals turning into PA accounts. And we've back tested to see, hey, what can we expect from our strategies over the, of, an, of an average week or two? Let me know in the comments down below. Did, did you find that if you're, if you're, especially if you're a consistent profit, if you're already profitable, have you noticed that, you know, if you trade your, your personal account, you trade much better than when you trade all of the accounts combined. I just noticed that for myself. I, I guess it's just this internal pressure. Uh, maybe it's the series. Who knows what it is? But I noticed that I hesitate way more when I have my trade copier set up to ten accounts, twenty accounts. But if I just have one or two accounts, I don't have that same hesitation. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, that's gonna conclude this video. Look out for my next video coming out next week. Let me know what you want to see more of. If you want to see more trading strategies, I, I do really appreciate all of your support. 
Subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.